If you're looking for the tastiest, the creamiest, and the easiest homemade mac and cheese recipe that you're either gonna cook in your oven or smoker, then this is it. This is the Costco copycat mac and cheese recipe, the last mac and cheese recipe that you'll ever need. Now it's time to get into what it takes to make the last macaroni and cheese recipe that you'll ever need. So very simple. We want to make sure that we have fresh grated and fresh shredded cheese. Don't buy that bag stuff. It doesn't melt as well. They use other things in there to keep it from clumping. We want to grate our own cheese. We've got white cheddar cheese. We've got Gruyere cheese. We've got Parmesan cheese. We've got medium cheddar cheese. And we've got Romano cheese. We're gonna be making a roux, we've got some flour, we've got some milk and cream, and we're gonna be using some cavatappi pasta. Now this recipe here is basically a copycat of the Costco mac and cheese. If you have bought the pre-made Costco mac and cheese that comes in the foil pan and all you have to do is bake it, this is the closest thing that you can find to that. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. Now today we're gonna to be smoking it on my Camp Chef. Now it doesn't matter, if you don't have a smoker, don't wanna smoke it, you can do this exact recipe inside in your oven. It doesn't take long. This entire process is gonna be about 35 minutes. Very simple. But today we're gonna to be using the Camp Chef. I'm gonna be using the Sidekick. As you can see, I've already got a pot of water boiling so we can get this pasta on. Let's get over here and get started. As you can see, we've got our water boiling. We've got our cavatappi pasta. This is a one pound box. We're adding it to the salted water right now. Now we wanna cook this about one minute short of al dente since we're going to be baking this as well. We're looking for about six minutes or so. So go ahead and set yourself a timer for that. Set a timer for six minutes. All right, there's the timer, it's done. Let's take this in and strain it. You want a tablespoon of olive oil and we're gonna mix that in and this is just to keep the macaroni itself from sticking. So stir that real well and set this off to the side. Now in a large saucepan, you wanna melt a half a cup of butter. This is a full stick of butter here. And you wanna do this at medium to medium low heat. As you can see the butter is melted and it's starting to foam so we know that it is nice and, and warm. We're gonna start whisking in a half a cup of all-purpose flour. We want this to look like a wet sand consistency. This will take about a minute to get it the consistency that we want. Now we have a cup of cream and a cup of milk and we're just gonna slowly whisk this in until it's smooth and, and nicely combined. Now we have salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika. We're gonna mix that in. Now the full recipe and all of the measurements of everything are going to be down in the description. It's easier for me to list them there than it is to rattle them off here. We wanna start taking our cheeses and mixing about a quarter of it in at one time. So this is our white cheddar. And we're just putting a quarter in and we're gonna start mixing. Here's our Gruyere. Our Romano. Our Parmesan. And just keep whisking. Now, we are going to be adding two more cups of milk as we start to whisk this stuff together. Some more Gruyere. Some more Romano. Parmesan. And we'll just keep this mixing. And you're looking for a nice smooth consistency. All right, we're going to blend in the rest of the cheese here. 
the rest of the Gruyere. And like I said, the entire recipe, all of the measurements, everything is going to be down in the description. We're gonna turn the heat off. We're gonna bring the pasta back and we're going to pour our cheese sauce right over top. And we're going to mix this in with our cavatappi. Now, since this is for Thanksgiving, we're gonna be using a nine by 13 aluminum pan and we're also gonna be putting this in the smoker. We wanna put about half of the pasta in here and then you take about half of your medium cheddar and you sprinkle it right over the top like this. We cover it with the rest of our cheesy pasta here. Take the rest of your medium cheddar and we're just gonna sprinkle this over the top. Now we're running the Camp Chef Woodwind Pro at 325 degrees. Now remember, like I said, you can easily make this inside in your oven, but since I've got the smoker that's got the sidekick and we like a little extra, we're gonna be putting it in the Camp Chef. Now I'm running this 325 with some hickory pellets with some apple wood down in the smoke box. We're going to get this in here. I'm gonna place it right here for 15 minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted and bubbly. All right, 15 minutes is up. It is time to get this mac and cheese off the smoker. And let me tell you what, it looks freaking delicious. So this mac and cheese is done and it took us about 35 minutes total cook time that's boiling the pasta that is getting everything ready to go. This right here is the Costco copycat mac and cheese perfect for you and your family this holiday season. Now this is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I just wanna warn you that if you're buying Kraft, not the brand Kraft, but crafty cheeses and more expensive cheeses, this might also be the most expensive mac and cheese you've ever made. But if you shop wisely, it can be very affordable. But let's go ahead and give it a try. It's very creamy, very cheesy, it's really good honestly some of the best mac and cheese that I've ever made. I will say the only thing that I personally might do in the future is bump up the cheddar that we put on top and maybe even put a little bit of breadcrumbs on top just so that we get kind of a crustiness and even a little bit more texture. But overall this is a very very delicious mac and cheese and it's super easy and I made it here in my Camp Chef smoker but you could also make it inside your house in the oven. If you're looking for more recipes like this or other killer recipes, then I suggest you check out this video right here.